It's John T. Boy. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy John T. Welcome back to the channel. I'm finally back with a new video. If you're new to the channel, you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Please hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on new videos when I upload them. And also, give this video a thumbs up, smash that like button for your boy. I really appreciate it. Now, for this one, we're going to be talking about something that can, uh, relates to my Instagram, where I've been posting some videos and they've been going viral. So many people saw my setup, people noticed that I'm an engineer, producer, yada, yada, yada. I don't want to toot my own horn. But a lot of people hit me up asking me how they can send their music to me. We all use different DAWs. Most likely me, I use Pro Tools. So for this one right here, this is strictly for those who have Pro Tools, but don't know how to export their own music to send to me or anyone else. So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step on how to export your stems or export your project file. In other words, how to export your session file, the entire thing, so you can send it out to get mixed or mastered or to send it to another artist who'd like to record over it. So by all means, let's get into it. All right, we're into Pro Tools. Now this is what we're gonna do. Uh, and even cross my mind and leave. No, I can't do it. On the inside, I'm bleeding. I can't show it. Got too many demons. I can't ignore them. If you're not by my side, I can't go for it. Drop the pen. Yeah, you know I'm trying to slide on you. All right, that was a nice take. We're gonna use that. But since you heard the chorus, let's say for instance, we, we you want the chorus to be sent stem by stem. Now basically what, you, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure all your plugins are turned off. Either turn them off, make them inactive, or bypass them. And then you're going to make sure that they're all at 0 dB. And I will always recommend, because those who hit me up and they're not so sure on how to export their, their vocals, start like at least a few seconds after the vocal is, is done playing st start from here and drag it all the way to the beginning so in that way when you do export it it's going to start exactly where the vocal is supposed to be it'll be in line with the beat it'll be in sync a lot of people always make the mistake of just highlighting it export it and then boom the thing is just going to just magically put it where it's supposed to be but once you export it to any other DAW it's going to start right at the beginning so everything is unorganized. Everything is not in, in the position where it's supposed to be. So when you highlight it from the end all the way to the beginning, it's going to automatically create that space and put it exactly where it needs to be. So in that way, you don't have to manually put it there yourself. Otherwise, engineers and other producers, if you send them your work and they have to put it exactly where it's supposed to be, they'll charge you extra for it. Because one of the things an engineer would love for you guys to do is to make your stuff organized. You put it from there. Now, I wouldn't recommend exporting everything all together. Because remember, you're exporting the stems. What you want to do is... Solo the first take. So I'll show you guys to do that in a second. You can either go to File, Bounce 2, and Disk. Or Control-Alt-B. And for Mac users, I think it's Control-Command-B. I might be wrong, but try it out. I haven't used Mac in a long time. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to export that one. For bounce, put it under wave. Wave, and if you're on Mac, it could be either wave or AIFF. AIFF is the Mac version of wave, so it really doesn't matter which one you choose. Choose either AIFF or wave. Don't choose MP3 when you're exporting stems. Because the reason why you want to choose Wave, because that holds the most information in your audio data. It's the highest quality possible. So you choose Wave. We choose Wave, and for format, you want to put, you want to keep it as interleaved. For bit depth, choose 24 bit. That's what that's what I choose for myself. Some other engineers and producers recommend 32 bit flow. I just use 24 bit. You don't have to choose any of these. You don't have to click on Share with. Click none, type in the name of your file. We're gonna choose chorus one. All 
Alright, we just bounced the first vocal track. Let's do the second one. The first one we just did, do it for the next three. Alright, we have just about all four vocal tracks of the hook. Now, let's say for instance, this guy wanted to sing you the beat and he wants you to record your verse after the hook, but you wouldn't know where to begin. So, this is what you do. Uh, create a new session file. Don't save. Okay, we created a new session. For this one right here, I imported the beat. Now, let's say for instance, you're a recording artist, you don't know how to import someone else's vocals for you to record your own after they give you the hook. So in that way, this is how you import. You click on File, cl click on Import, Audio, or Control Shift I. And for Mac, it could be either Control or Command Shift I. So we're gonna click on that, and then we're gonna find, and now we're gonna find the stems that we just exported from that previous session file. Chorus 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm going to highlight both, and then we're going to copy files. The reason why we call copy, because it will automatically be saved in the session file. If you click Add, you might have to look for them again the next time you reopen it. I might be wrong, but always put copy just in case. We're going to click Done. Click, new, click on New Track. Click OK. And boom, look exactly where it started. So in that way, you don't have to manually put exactly where it's supposed to be. Pro Tools will do it for you. Why? Because you started from the end of the uh, track all the way to the beginning, and they all export that all that space that you asked for Pro Tools to export, and they'll import it looking like this. It will put it exactly where it's supposed to be. I'm going to mute all the uh, tracks. Play it from here. There's nothing. Unmute them. Can you really be the one for me? For the streets I get is up for you. Don't know. And that's basically it right here. That's how you export and import stems. If you want to export an entire session file, this is what you do. I'm gonna use the exact same one. You can do this for any track on Pro Tools. So let's say for instance you want the beat and the stems to be sent to either another recording artist or an engineer. You click on File, Save Copy In. Now for, now for session format, this really depends on which version of Pro Tools you're using. Me, I'm on Pro Tools 11. So if I want to send this to somebody to mix or to record over or add some more instrumentation as far as for production, I click Latest. If I want to send this to somebody who has either Pro Tools 7, 8, or 9, you, send it, you click on Pro Tools 7 or anything earlier than that, you click on these. I don't know why somebody is still on an earlier version of Pro Tools like that. I'm not judging, just saying. For session perimeters, audio file type, like I said before, it could be either WAV or AIFF. Just want to choose WAV. For sample rate, I choose 44.1 because that's what I use to record these vocals. For anyone who uses 48 kilohertz, that's okay. Pro Tools can automatically convert it for you. But me, I'm going to choose 44.1 kilohertz. For bit depth, stay on 24 bits. And for items to copy, you click on audio files. As far as for plugins and all in other sorts, you could choose session plugin settings folder. But if you just want to send somebody everything completely raw, I would just leave it the way it is, audio files. Click OK. And you can save it on your desktop or whatever. I'm going to save it the way it is, copy to two track plus mix. I'm going to close this out, and I'm going to choose that exact same folder where I can actually open it to any Pro Tools using the latest version. Click File, Open Session, where did I save it? Desktop, copy of Two Track Mix, click on Session, boom, 
There you go. And it automatically has the audio files where all the vocals and the beat by itself is contained. That's how you send session files to other people. You guys let me know what you guys think of this tutorial. I really appreciate you give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. For those who are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. For once again, it's your boy John Tim signing off. You guys have a blessed one. I love you. God loves you more. Be careful out there. Be blessed. And peace out.